Is it recording? Alright, cool. What's going on, everyone? Uh, ADCR from Reddit Blue. Uh, we're going to be doing another Clan War recap today. Uh, what am I doing? Here we go. So, um... Oh my god. So tired. Uh, last night I did a Clan War recap video on the same one, and it was awesome. I was full of energy. I was pumped up. Uh, I was excited about it. I was really excited about the commentary. Uh, the only problem was the video ran a little too long. So uh, YouTube was like, the video is too long to upload. And I'm like, really? I've seen 30 minute videos on YouTube. So it ran 16 minutes. So I guess I will just have to do it kind of fast. So our war against the Moochers was pretty good. Um, where we won and they failed was the fact that they really couldn't do anything against our town hall tens. You know, like everything else two, three starred, you know. Not too bad. We also had a town hall eight and uh the opposing side had a town hall nine. So I mean they had a little bit more of an advantage as far as attacks over attacks. Um but as you can see the difference is here in the in the uh in the in, in the town hall tens and then everything else is kinda like mirrored over so we only won by two and i think that's because you know a lot of us are older a lot of us do work um i know i wasn't really in the right mindset you know i'm more of a i need time to kind of focus in and stuff like that but you know everyone was kind of rushing their attacks um but we had some really good attacks though so i mean i wanted to show you the top three town hall 10 attacks uh and these ones are cool because usually everyone goes by air this time we had a little bit of mix of uh, both air and ground um, not together, but just, you know, we had some air attacks, we had some ground attacks, so, I mean, you know, it was always exciting to see. So the first one we're going to take a look at is Bobby's. Now, Bobby's attack was great. Um, I love what these guys do with their, uh, and we're going to talk more about this, uh, with their two-star tactics. You know, so first he drops down some giants, gets the, uh, clan castle pull, <laughs> And then he brings them up top. Now, he's gotten better at this now. Um, and he doesn't waste a lot of time here, no matter if it's going right or not. But you're going to be able to see right here what I'm talking about. So he sends in a Barbarian, and he has two Witches down on the bottom. He tries to throw down a Barbarian to kill the Witch, but it doesn't happen. I mean, he doesn't even really scave her, really. So then he tries it again. Um, again, you know really no luck there uh from here he goes ahead and sends in his uh kill squad with a couple wizards backing it up now let me actually just pause it when the witches were right here like towards the back part if he would have used one or two witches i mean one or two wizards back here on the witches that would have totally worked and i've talked to him about it and uh i believe he has done that already in in one of our wars we're currently having so uh you know as long as you learn how to properly time manage your uh, kill squad tactic and stuff like that. I mean, it does, you know, I'm not I'm not the expert. I mean, I don't want people watching this feel like, you know, you know, like don't judge him too harshly because I was just offering criticism uh, to hopefully better him and all of us one day. So anyway, he, he starts with the attack shortly thereafter. So, you know, he starts off by setting the golem down for distraction and then just creating his uh, three golem wide funnel. So he does that, he sends in some wall breakers, open up some compartments. Because all these walls are really, uh, they're all over the place, man, these walls. So he has a jump spell that uh, he's trying to save. So he sends in a couple more wall breakers, but they get taken out by the Inferno. <clears throat> sends in the heroes. So, let's see. Jump spell goes down right there. That's a. It was it was a good jump spell. It was it was the right place to put it. Uh, it was just a very awkward base. So, everything sort of funnels into that compartment. They hop over some walls, and take a look at this. Let me uh. Uh, right here. Okay, so he's got the one star already. Uh, this is really one I wanted to point out. <clears throat> he's already taken care of the 50% damage. Like, if you look at how wide his, his golem drop was and how everything pushed forward, 
Like, I think that's my biggest problem because my biggest problem is, like, you know, I'll go from the outside, but then I'll kind of cheese wedge in to where uh, I'll only get, like, 30% by the time I get to the core. And then I'm, like, hoping that miraculously I'll get the 50%. But they're premeditating this 50%. So he already has the 50. Shortly thereafter, he snags the town hall uh, with the uh, Archer Queen. <clears throat> and the rest of it's just cleanup. Uh, so let's just go ahead and fast forward it right there. But yeah, I mean, that was textbook amazing to me. Like, um, he had such a wide golem drop, and, and you're actually going to see that reflected in another attack by another person. Um, so, I mean, I think that's something I'm definitely going to take moving forward, is, you know, start your, start your attack wide to where as soon as they get down towards the... Uh, clan castle i mean not the clan castle fuck man it's too early it's too early i need a, i need a drink of coffee real quick <sighs> fucking hot all right so when they go down towards the town hall once they get to that core the 50 percent is already taken care of i think that's a great great strategy so now take a look at number two we're gonna go with jeezy's attack uh he does a uh lava lunion um, not a quattro, and this just goes to show you that, you know, this is a fully maxed out base. Aside from walls and heroes, this is a fully maxed out base, and I believe Archer Towers. I think Archer Towers is only level 12, but still very powerful stuff. Um, <clears throat> it's hard to three-star one of these bases. You know, even with a lot of the attacks that I've seen come out in the community, uh, very, very hard to three-star without level 40 heroes, you know. Um, so, I mean, you don't need, like, if you're going for a two-star, you don't need four Lava Hounds, you know. Jeezy makes this look, without a doubt, just picture perfect. So, as always, you know, he starts with the old two Lava Drop with some balloons in the back. And again, he goes minions, and then more balloons. So let's go ahead and pause it right there. So again, this is this is being replicated from my last video, where he does what I like to call the Oreo effect, where he goes lavas, loons, minions, loons in the back to, you know, as soon as the balloons start dropping, he's going to have more fill in the gaps, which is great. So the, you know, the minions will be protected. Um, and as you can see, like, like the timer, like he barely de deployed his troops. His timer is at 50 seconds. Like, he completely annihilates this base in, like, literally 50 seconds. So, I'm going to try and keep up with the commentary, uh, but it's just such a fast-paced attack. So, he does the uh, Mickey Mouse Rage, and he freezes the uh, Inferno Towers. His loon's already going to take out the Inferno Towers, so he does a Rage, and he drops, I, I believe, a back-end freeze. There you go. So back in freeze goes down, and look at this. I mean, his balloons are just annihilating everything. Oh, shit. Okay, this is the battle. Okay, this is it. I thought it was the. I thought it was number one for some reason, but this is it. This is where it goes down. Um, let me go ahead and pause it right here. Now, his troops are gone, okay? He's got a couple minions and pups right there. They're going to go down, especially to that wizard tower right there. Um, as soon as I saw this, because I was watching this live, I was like, you got to be fucking kidding me. I'm like, are you kidding? Like, you know, all I see is the king marching into the core. He's level 16. The opposing one's level 20. My first thoughts was, our king's going to get aggroed by the other king, and there's going to be a king showdown. But the whole time it's going down, he's got, you know, all this back DPS in the core. That's just going to be hammering away at him. And I'm just like, wow, please tell me he's not going to get the one star. So in the comment section, I want to get hashtag Clutch King. If I could get hashtag Clutch King, because one thing I didn't even realize neither is that this town hall, like it's, it's got like a sliver of health, like 10% health on this building. So when I seen this next part, I was blown away. So right there, skellies pop up. He's getting locked on by the Inferno and the Expo, and I'm just like, 
fuck, dude. If the king wasn't bad enough, skeletons for distraction? Gotta be shitting me. So, <laughs> he sits there, he starts hammering away at skeletons. I believe he aggros the king right there, and then boom, boom, no more town hall. And I was like, oh my fuck. <laughs> I was like, thank you. Oh my god, it was, wow. It was a, it was, it was, it was a crazy attack to watch live. Because so many things were running through my head. It was a beautiful attack. At the very end, I was like, really? We're going to have to depend on the king for this? Uh, but it came through. So, like I said, guys, hashtag Clutch King. Let me get it. So then number one, we're going to look at uh, Priapus. Uh, his attack was also a ground attack um, on this Town Hall 10 fish base. Now, aside from his walls and heroes, this is also a fully maxed out Town Hall 10. Um when I seen this, I thought it was also genius because he does that wide three golem spread where he gets the 50% before he gets the town hall. He just takes care of it so beautifully. Um, so as you can see on opposite ends, they've got a lot of compartments here. They've got way too many compartments here. Um, so he really just kind of like thumps the space just through the archer queen middle. It's, it's, it's just amazing. So He starts off by just picking off outside buildings, building up his percentage. And like I said, a lot of these guys are good at, at making the percentage happen first and then going for the town hall. Because I always do it backwards, and it's always so frustrating, especially when I get like, you know, 40% with the town hall. I'm just like, fuck, dude, really 10% away from, from, from a second star? But this is why, because these guys do their, do their attacks so wide, they start picking off buildings before they even start their initial attack to where he hasn't even breached the first wall. He's already at 20%, you know? So this is what I really like too. Um, the golems down here in this in this wreckage, uh, queen's aggro to the golem. Uh, the witches and wizards are going to take out that queen, no problem. He doesn't lure the CC does come out, um, but he uses he just does like the whole he like he like jumps rages like as you can see this jump spell is coming down right now. He like jump rages, freezes the core, and these heroes and, and, and the witches just make really short work of the clan castle troops. So, yeah, I mean, again, beautiful attack. Uh, like I said, they're already, like, before they even get the town hall, they're already going to be at 50%, you know. So, again, he gets the 50%. Shortly thereafter, he snags the town hall. And he's just got so much DPS in the middle. Like, I mean, it just goes down in an instant. You know, the king's aggro to the other king. And they're just doing the uh, aggro BK dance. So, yeah, this be... Yeah, these heroes, man, I tell you. Sometimes they can save your ass, and the next, you know, they just go full retard on you. So, that was his attack. Let's go and just speed it up. It's just clean up. Um, awesome attacks from everyone, but I think ultimately it was the Town Hall 10s saving our ass in a war once again. Um, and like I said, I just think that all of our Town Hall 9s were just, you know, because they were all good attacks. I, I mean, I watched all of them again. They were all good attacks. They either ran out of time or their troops were just being pretty retarded. So what are we at right now? We're at 13 minutes. So... I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up, guys. That's it for me here at, at uh, Reddit Blue. Uh, if there's anything you guys want to see, just make sure and drop me a comment in the comment section below. Don't forget to uh, like and subscribe, and uh, we will see you next time. Later.